Hello and welcome to Verbling. I am Teacher Oakley and in today's class we are going to be learning vocabulary, uh, specifically vocabulary which is related to special occasions and celebrations and festivals and the like. Uh, hopefully you are enjoying some summer festivals where you live. Uh, I would like to share with you today some vocabulary to talk about such festivals. Fourth of July for Americans is coming right up. Uh, in any case, we will be looking at this vocabulary through a mix of uh, different types of exercises, uh, fill in the blank and mix and match, and uh, as well some discussions, uh, some conversation about festivals I'll be talking to you about festivals in your country. Uh, okay, so uh, to get started here, uh, let me welcome students to the class and do a little microphone check. Hello, Mustafa, how are you today? I'm doing well, teacher. Thank you for asking. I'm good morning for you. All right, good morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> good morning Thank to you. you. Yeah, okay. And uh, uh, hello, Carlos. Welcome to the class. Nice to see Hi, teacher. How are you? Right. I'm good. How are you doing? Okay, teacher. Good. Good. Nice to have you aboard again. Uh, hello to Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Hello. Uh, good morning to you. And welcome. Uh, also, let me welcome Felipe. Hi, Felipe. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you? Great. Great. Uh, okay. Let's get uh, let's get on with the lesson. I'm going to do a screen share. Um, the obvious ones. I'm going to skip the obvious holidays that we celebrate. Uh, I'll, we'll look at those first. We'll skip through those quickly because I think you guys are probably fairly familiar with these. Uh, okay, let's take a quick look at dates on the calendar. Uh, okay, maybe you celebrate these, maybe you do not, but you probably have heard of them at least. Uh, okay, uh, a little mix and match. We have the dates down here. What, uh, uh, Mustafa, are you familiar with Christmas? Christmas, yeah, I, family, I am familiar with Christmas. Okay, and what, do you know what date below uh, Christmas is normally on? Uh, just, um, uh, 25, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what date it's on. Uh -huh. 25, maybe 25, I don't know. Yeah. Yes, uh, you are correct. Christmas is on the 25th. 25th of December. Uh, okay. And uh, so uh, Christmas... And do you know why, teacher? What's that? Do you, do you know why on 25, like, what, <laughs> why? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> that's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that is... Somewhat controversial. Okay, back at you, Mustafa, just to talk about this a minute. What is Christmas supposedly celebrating? And notice my use of supposedly. What they are celebrating on, yeah. on Christmas? Uh, um, um, it's related to religion. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Christian religions, yes. It's uh, celebrating the birth of Christ. Uh, however, somewhat controversial, don't get mad at me if I say this, but I'm just going to say what I've read and what I understand from what I've read, that um, in fact the birth of Jesus Christ probably, most likely, according to research, probably took place actually in the springtime. However, Christmas is celebrated uh, December 25th. Probably, like uh, many other Christian religions, they got folded into existing pagan religions. 
in Europe. Most likely, you may notice that Christmas happens extremely closely to um, the uh, winter winter solstice, which is something like the 22nd or something. And uh, in pagan religions, the solstices and equinox, we just had an equinox in June. Do you know what those are, Mustafa? Solstice um, and equinox. No, no. No, no, I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, well, the solstice uh, refers to the time, uh, okay, in just like December 22nd, when the day is totally even, uh, night and nighttime and daytime, okay? It is the even point uh, with the rotation of the earth so that you have an equal amount of daylight and uh, oh no I'm sorry I got it I got that absolutely I got that totally I got that absolutely wrong sorry um, okay solstice uh, equinox I, I'm, I got it backwards I'm sorry let me start over again the equinox went <laughs> in Christmas equinox it's equal equal equinox right there you go sorry Silly me. The the daytime and the nighttime are equal. The solstice the solstices are held when the Earth's rotation, for example, um, so it's winter solstice is near Christmas because it's the darkest day of the year. Yes. All right. Equinox is when it's equal. Right. Yeah. And, it, and I just, I just, I just, I just read about the second one. This about the second one. So right. The, the summer solstice was just. We just had it in June, um, very like a week ago or something. The longest day of the year. Right. So, anyway, somewhat controversial. Take it or leave it. Whatever. But many of the Christian holidays were kind of folded into. Solstice and equinox celebration, which were already held by more, I guess, pagan uh, Europeans, so that they didn't lose their holidays. You know, they still could have a holiday. They just changed it, kind of mutated it into a more Christian religion. But anyway, supposedly, allegedly, it is to celebrate the birth of Christ. Uh, okay, uh, enough of that. Let me let's continue. Uh, let me quickly welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, let me quickly welcome Jer. Hello, Hello. teacher. Hello, welcome. Uh, okay, and looking at the next holiday, uh, Carlos, New Year's Eve. Do you celebrate New Year's Eve? The New Carlos? Year's Eve uh, is celebrated in December 31. Definitely. 31. Notice there's two 31s on here. December 31. Yes, exactly correct. Do you celebrate this holiday? Yes, of course. And the next day, I, I think in a lot of countries, is a holiday day. Yes, it's a holiday. It the people correct. doesn't work. Uh, the people don't work. People don't. don't work. Excuse me, yeah. A person doesn't. People don't. Yeah, New Year's Day. Mm-hmm. Absolutely correct. So two two holidays in a row. That's right. Of course, Carlos. In uh, some parts of the world, they really don't celebrate New Year's Eve very much because, for example, in China they have Chinese New Year, which is based on the lunar calendar, and Chinese New Year comes a little bit later, usually February. Uh, however. Uh, they still do some a little bit of celebrating New Year's Eve, but uh, in any case, okay. okay. <clears throat> Heidi, Easter, uh, Easter. Uh, okay, uh, we have a date here, but <clears throat> frankly, we're guessing because Easter changes every year. Yeah. Uh, I think so. It's different, depend on the year. Yeah, it does. I, I mean, we have the third, and that's a guess. Um, <laughs> it, it definitely changes, but usually, what about what time of the year is Easter? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Uh, 
before I went to Italy in that time, so yeah, it was the early time of the, um, April. Yeah, good. So, yeah. Important time. I'm not sure. No, it moves around. It can move around uh, as much as two weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. Not totally sure, but because it um it uh it's a holiday that moves because uh because it's based on 40, 40 days of Lent. But what is the Easter marking? We can say marking. What does it commemorate or mark? Do you know. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, maybe a bunny came out and <laughs> they hide some eggs. <laughs> what? <It's> <laughs> well, that's what they do. That's what they do. You can hide some eggs and talk about the Easter bunny, but uh, sure. But uh, officially, the the true reason um, was to to commemorate, memorialize, to mark. We can use all those words. The um, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ when when he was killed when he was crucified. Uh, okay, so that's the official reason. But of course, many people celebrate these holidays: Easter, Christmas. Maybe Christian can eat meat before. So that time finished, then celebrate that. No. I'm sorry. There was a little interference. I couldn't hear everything you said. Um, before this day, the Christian can't eat uh, meat. Mm. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's 40 days of Lent. It's mm -hmm. called Lent. Then it finished. Then uh, they celebrate Easter. No. Yes, that's correct. Easter marks the end of Lent. Lent starts with what's called Ash Wednesday. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, that's correct. Uh, the day before Ash Wednesday is uh, also celebrated in many countries as Carnival or Mardi Gras. Yeah. Um, Italy is called uh, Pasqua. So Pasqua. Pasqua. Oh, yeah. So I stayed in the hotel. The mm -hmm. up, upstairs people are... Uh, celebrating and they are dancing or something. I couldn't sleep well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, the the day before East Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras Carnival is, of course, people are going crazy because then they ha they have to uh, they have Lent after is the idea. Okay. I was about to go up uh, to <laughs> them, but I was very patient. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's very cultural, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Easter, of course, is marked by things like uh, yes, eggs, colored eggs, the Easter Bunny. Um, families have a nice dinner on Easter. Most people go to church, uh, um, or many do. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Let's take a look at a next well-known holiday in. in European countries, America, Felipe, uh, Halloween. What? Halloween. Uh, when is Halloween? Celebrate, it's celebrated on October 31st. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Uh, notice the peculiar spelling of Halloween here on this page. Well, that's because that's how it's supposed to be because it's Hallow's Evening. It's All Hallows Eve. It was the original, original celebration. The name of the holiday was All Hallows Eve. Okay, and uh, it got shortened to Halloween over time. Uh, in any case, uh, other countries celebrates so, uh, associated, so, the, kind of associated with Halloween, um, Day of the Dead. Uh, here where I live in the Philippines, they really don't celebrate Halloween very much, other than the stores kind of decorate and have a sale. But they really don't do a whole lot, but they do celebrate um, the Day of the Dead. They go to, everybody goes to 
it's quite amazing. Everybody goes to the graveyard and spends, take care of their ancestors' graves. They light candles. They stay awake all night. And um, and anyway, they celebrate. They celebrate in that way. It is associated, actually. It's the autumn, not... autumn season, right? So I recently yeah. heard about the Halloween, and uh, nighttime is getting longer. So bat uh, creatures are very glad, <laughs> so they celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, the, it definitely comes from roots in pagan holidays that the dead will rise and, and like that. Yeah, that's the kind of idea. That's why there's still to this day all the spooky, scary elements of Halloween celebrating. Skeletons and witches and the like. Jack-o'-lanterns, the pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, carved. Uh, Felipe, do you do you celebrate Halloween in your country? No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> uh, do you celebrate like the Day of the Dead or any other holiday right next to? Mm, no, not at all. Okay. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> oh well, all right. Uh, I, I always enjoyed Halloween as a child and even as an adult. Adults, in America at least, have uh, big parties where, where they have costume parties. You dress up in a costume. Celebrate. So, when did, when did you dress up last time? Uh, I haven't dressed up for Halloween in ages. Like I said, they, they don't celebrate it here where I live now in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But I would usually, I for for many years before I came here, I helped out some friends of mine, some very good friends, had a very big party on Halloween, a very elaborate party. They would have, uh, they lived in the countryside. They had a forest, uh, a haunted forest walk, and they would set up elaborate things to scare people. You know, people jumping out with a chainsaw or dressed like zombies or what have you, um, and you would walk deep into the forest where they would have a big tent with lights and a bonfire and a full bar and music and a disco ball, and so you'd have to walk like a kilometer into the forest to get to the party. Anyway, big elaborate affair. I did that for about 10 years. I helped them with that, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, okay. Next one, uh, JR. Hello. Hi. Valentine's Day. Do you know when Valentine's Day happens? Uh, I don't know in the U.S., but uh, here in Brazil, it usually happens on June 12th. Really? <laughs> yes. We no have kidding. A yes, sure. Wow, I had no idea that it w was held on different days in different countries. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Uh, in America, and uh, I thought everywhere, but I guess not. It's uh, February 14th. Yes, wow. I know. But, but yeah. in Brazil, I don't know why, but uh, we have a different day. Okay, interesting. Okay, and how do you celebrate Valentine's Day in Brazil? What's the usual? Uh, in my case, I usually order a good uh, uh, table in a restaurant and mm -hmm. I invite my wife. In that day, I, I usually buy some flowers for her. I make sure that uh, the day will be perfect and yes. Okay. Uh, Great regular things to yes I think it is right. important day and I am married for 20 years but uh, I try to yeah. keep in mind that we need to have special days during the year to celebrate our right. long long relationship and family that we are building together very nice JR very impressive really okay one small note you I think you said you order a table. You book or you reserve a table in a nice restaurant. But very nice. Yes. 
That's that's terrific. Uh, great. My li- my wife is lucky if I buy her candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's a, ro- it's, a it's a Valentine's Day, a romantic <clears throat> excuse me, a romantic holiday, uh a romantic holiday for couples. It's a couples holiday, really. Yeah. yeah. Interestingly, okay. uh Jer, <clears throat> they in China they celebrate uh Valentine's Day, but they have another day for singles. And it's actually just like Valentine's Day is really a huge marketing. Uh, really, it's a, a marketing event to sell flowers and chocolate and uh, promote restaurants and all of that. It's interesting in China they they go all out. They have a Singles Day which is dedicated to online shopping, <laughs> so you can sit at home and buy a lot of things. Yes, <laughs> I found that to be very funny, but. Very cynical, but okay. Yeah, it's real thing. They have Singles Day for sitting at home and shopping by yourself. <laughs> okay. Yes, but, uh, but you know, around the world, some holidays are become commercial, like uh, Women's yes. Day, Father's Day, Mother Day, Valentine Day. So yes. Yes, highly commercialized. You could even. Yeah, yes. uh, you're absolutely correct. Most holidays, one way or the other, are becoming commercialized. I agree, absolutely. Uh, okay, uh, real quick. Uh, all right, Christmas holidays. Often we we talk not just about Christmas, the day, but Christmas holidays because they kind of are. They're very close to New Year's Eve, and so you know, there's a a week and a half or whatever um, of uh, celebrations because one week after Christmas, of course, it's New Year's Eve. Uh, well, one week after Christmas Eve, rather, it's New Year's Eve. Is that right? Or New Year's Day. Whatever. It all happens in a week. Christmas Eve, uh, of course, is the 24th. And then Christmas Day is the 25th. 26th is uh, Christmas Day. What is, sorry, the 26th is Boxing Day. Mustafa, what is Boxing Day? Uh, I just wanted to ask you about Boxing Day. So what's Boxing Day? Like to have us playing or what? I don't know really, sorry. (laughs) Well, being an American, uh, (laughs) kind of funny. Being an American, I, we don't really celebrate Boxing Day. Um... But uh, it's it's a it's definitely British. Uh, Americans don't do anything for Boxing Day. Um, so is there but, like down something? Or I don't know. Uh, well, I guess the tradition is for uh, to exchange gifts for businessmen or servants or tradesmen. Uh, that's the idea. It's, I, I don't know. It's like a business Christmas. I don't know. Second day of Christmas. Uh, it's a bank holiday. I, I, I don't know. It's a. <laughs> uh, it's something that in, they do in English. So the day after, uh, you g- give your servants gifts, or you give your milkman gifts, or, or whatever things like that. Uh, sorry, teacher. I just have a question. It just come to my mind. Like sure. uh, so now I it dawned on me like boxing now uh, he mean it means like uh, a box like a bag okay uh, yeah but what's about boxing when you want to punch someone yeah so it's also I, I called call it, boxing uh, you, uh, okay. same yeah that's right to box the verb uh, boxing yeah that's right is also the sport where you wear uh, big gloves and you fight each other. Uh, that's correct, but it had Boxing Day has nothing to do with uh, like a boxing match. Uh, okay, let's look at uh, some collocations with verbs and nouns which can be associated with Christmas specifically. Uh, 
Okay, and anyway, uh, we can, uh, Christmas or no, there's some good co-locations. Uh, Carlos, what do you wrap up? Okay, uh, wrap up, uh, wrap up present. Absolutely. Do you, do you wrap up presents uh, on Christmas, Carlos? Yes, of course, of course. In order to give some present to my relative. Very nice. Are yeah. you good at wrapping up presents, Carlos? <laughs> no. To tell no. you the truth, no. <laughs> okay. My girlfriend right. helped me to do, to do that. Uh, great. I'm with you, 100%. Yeah. When I when I wrap a gift, it looks like a crumpled up piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. looks like something that should be thrown in the garbage. No, uh, this is very difficult. Yeah, I have no skill at this either. Mm -hmm. Yes, it takes a certain amount of skill, you know, uh, yeah, or practice. I don't know. Something you have to learn, which I never did. Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let me quickly welcome Leonardo to the class. Hello, Leonardo. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the class. We'll talk Hello. to you. In, Thank you. We'll talk to you in just a little bit. Uh, Heidi. Yeah. Yes, Mustafa. Yeah. I have a question about wrap up. Like wrap up, can 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 we use it? For example, in there. I ended the conversation with someone. I I told them like I I have to wrap it up, wrap it up, or to stop, like to stop. You're absolutely correct. This can be a phrasal verb. Well, it is a phrasal verb, but it can mean to uh, f carefully fold paper around a gift. It can also mean to finish. And good example, you finish a conversation, you uh, uh, you wrap up a meeting. That would be a very common co-location usage. You're absolutely correct. Uh, you wrap something up, you you bring it to a close, you you finish it. Absolutely correct. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Heidi, mm -hmm. what do you decorate? Decorate myself. Decorate yourself? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, of the course. Christmas, Christmas tree. Absolutely. Do people in Japan have Christmas trees? Yeah, very small one. Oh yeah, okay. Because uh, they need to put in uh, the uh, sto sto stoker, a uh, stocking, a uh, stoker. What's that? Stocking? <laughs> Not I, stocking, I stoker. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Some place. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Stock, stock something, right? Stoker. I I don't get it. Small room. room. <laughs> And then next, or, next year, uh, they uh, um, pick out it again. They use oh, okay. the plastic, plastic Christmas to be very small. Right, okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> Here in the Philippines, the same thing. It's a big holiday, but the, yes, they don't use the, the live pine tree. In the United States, most people, some people use a plastic or artificial Christmas tree. But many people um, buy a live pine tree and put it in their house. It smells really nice. Uh, and, and in fact, there are Christmas tree farms. Actually, where I lived in the United States, there were many Christmas tree farms. People grow Christmas trees, and then they bring them to this city. They bring them to New York City, for example, and they sell them for... Two hundred, three hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> and they make a lot of money right before Christmas. But they basically harvest, you know, for one month a year. It's kind of an interesting business. Yeah. So anyway, you decorate the Christmas tree. You can decorate your house as well. Uh, decorate your office. Decorate your classroom. Fine. Some family decorate the garden. Uh, mm -hmm. That's true. Many many people in the United States decorate outside their house. Mm -hmm. Yep, they have like uh, blinking lights, blinking Santa Claus, blinking reindeer. <laughs> yeah. Famous yeah. street, uh, the common houses, but all uh, habitants decorate their garden. So mm -hmm. many people go there. 
to see that uh, decoration. All right, nice. Okay. Yeah, I think there are places in the United States that do the same thing. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, Felipe, send uh, send what? Um, <laughs> send Christmas cards. Yeah, you said turkey. <laughs> okay, send Christmas cards. Absolutely. All right. Do people send Christmas cards in your country? Uh, I don't know. I think he, they do it, but my family um, actually don't do this. Mm -hmm. Well, we it's don't have of the costume. The, this, this yeah, costume. I don't know what the word. Custom. That's right. We don't have the custom okay. of doing this. Okay. We don't have the custom of doing this. Yeah, I, when I was growing up, this was a definitely very common custom in the United States. Now, of course, modern technology has pretty much killed this custom. People send, uh, you know, an email or a <laughs> yeah. something, uh, an electronic greeting of some sort. Yeah, people don't really send Christmas cards anymore. Uh, okay, moving on. Jar, do. What do you do? Do. Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> do. Uh, your Christmas shopping, maybe? Absolutely, yes. Do. We often in English use do with any kind of task or job or, you know, something like that. So, believe me, Christmas shopping is a job, in my opinion. Uh, Felipe, do you do Christmas shopping? Um, actually, uh, oh, yeah. Oh. I. Yeah. Go uh, ahead. No, just just my parents. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. I forgot I was talking to Jr. Just your parents? That's oh. not <laughs> really. Okay, Jr. Do you do Christmas shopping? Yes, yeah, sure. I have three kids. You oh, know, of course you do. One wife okay. and. Eight siblings in Brazil, so I have to to do yeah, Christ, do. Christmas shopping every single year, okay. and you know it is not cheaper than as well. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Is it kind of a job? Uh, yes, sure. Because if you, I want to go there to buy uh, uh, gifts or presents. To my relatives, I need to send someone. So for me, it is a type of job, but I like it because I can give something to my relatives, and in the mm -hmm. end, they they become happy. Yes. Okay. Uh, you buy presents for them. You buy something for someone. Okay. okay. Not to them. You give it okay. to them. Uh, at Christmas, but you buy it for them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I do. You do your Christmas shopping early, or do you procrastinate to the last minute, like I do? Uh, I I know I usually do Christmas shopping early because I like to buy some stuffs by internet, some gifts because okay. the price is is better than go direct to the shopping, to the mall, right. for instance. But uh, yes, uh, like 90%, uh, I usually buy in advance ah, by internet. Yes. All right. Uh, okay, it's better than going to the actual mall or whatever. It's cheaper. Sure. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, good for you. You're you're my hero. Uh, I'm hopeless. I wait to the last minute and run around <laughs> like a maniac. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, Leonardo, what do you sing? I don't know. Uh, music. <laughs> sing? Uh, yeah. Well, so what uh, over here in this? What is music over here? Do you know? I don't know carols. Yes, very good. Carols <clears throat> are specifically 
holiday uh, holiday oriented songs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sometimes just called Christmas. It's new Carol. for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. In uh, do people in your country sing Christmas carols? Uh, uh, groups of people, maybe a group of people from the church, or I don't know, the Girl Scouts, or some just a group of neighbors uh, go to everyone's uh, uh, house and sing a couple songs. Uh, is this a tradition in your country? Yes, yes. Carols is a group of people singing a, a, a song. Carolers. The people singing are carolers, and the actual songs are called carols. Okay. Yes, it's a common in the church. Uh huh. Like, right. Uh, <laughs> people uh, sing music songs. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, but carolers actually go to your house. Um, uh, here where I live in the Philippines, it's very... <laughs> the carolers, it's a crazy thing. In the United States, you'll have uh, some organized groups. For example, carolers from the United Way uh, and some kind of charitable organization will come to your house. They'll sing. You'll make a donation of $20. Maybe if you're nice, you'll even make them cocoa or give them a small snack, a cookie or something. Uh, that's the tradition. Here in the Philippines, of course, a much poorer country, we have little kids, neighborhood kids will come. They will use crude instruments like a tin can. <laughs> or uh, and they'll bang on the tin can and they'll scream at the top of their voice. We wish you Merry Christmas! We wish you Merry Christmas! We wish you Merry Christmas! And it's <laughs> absolutely horrible. It's it's almost terrifying. <laughs> it's totally the most horrible thing in the world. And you pay the children to go away. Just please stop. Go away. <laughs> it's horrible. But. Uh, the problem is if you if you pay them once, then they're going to come back the next night and the next night and maybe even twice a night, and they'll keep coming back. So it's one of the horrible things about Christmas <laughs> here in the Philippines. There are also some other groups that will come and sing quite beautifully, um, really remarkable, but you have to also put up with the, the little kids, imitators, and I'm talking about seven, eight, nine, ten year old kids with a horrible singing voice. But teacher, sorry, uh, as uh, as you are talking, like uh, down on me, like uh, it's like religious song. Uh, yes. Well, so yes, it, yes, so, and so, no. Yeah, yes and yeah. no. Yes and no. Some are very religious because it's a religious holiday, and some are just about celebrating and having fun. Songs about Santa Claus aren't particularly religious. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Okay, because, because I I just wanted to know what's the difference between Carl, Carl, Carlos 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 and son son the normal song. Yeah. Uh, well, carols were originally they were religious songs. It's you know again as I was talking with someone else earlier. Christmas has become commercialized. The songs are no longer quite so religious in nature. Originally, car carols were religious songs, but now they're just... Now we only really sing carols at Christmas. So, there you go. Basically, Christmas carols. We don't sing carols any other time of the year uh, anymore. Okay, uh, Mustafa, since I'm talking to you, you eat what? I eat turkey. Uh, okay. Eat turkey. Good for you. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, many people eat turkey on Christmas. Americans eat turkey. Sometimes ham. Sometimes uh, duck or goose. Christmas goose. Uh, yeah. Sometimes roast beef. A really, really giant piece of roast beef will be cooked. Uh, but yeah. By the way, is it that turkey? Is it mean like uh, a chicken? Um, no, I, I'm not coming. Or a bear? A bear? A kind of bear? <laughs> Sorry, a kind of bear. It's a kind of bird, 
Yeah, yeah, but it's a lot yeah. bigger than a chicken. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot bigger than a chicken. A okay. turkey can weigh up to like 18 kilos. They can be huge. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I know it. I know it. I know it. Yeah. It's, I mean, uh, but that, that's, that's a really... Yeah, that's a really large one. You know, maybe a f five kilos or, you know, I don't know, uh, eight kilos like that for a, for a big family, that would be... Fairly normal. Ha, yeah. Has a has a has a has a has a long uh, neck. A turkey? Well, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah, it okay. does. Yeah, and they're big. They have big, colorful fan of feathers when they're alive. Of course, uh, their feathers fan up. Uh, kind of like a peacock, but not so dramatically as a peacock, but. Similar idea. They have colored feathers that they fan out. Their tail feathers, and they're big. They they're wild in North America. They were wild. Now, of course, there there still are wild turkeys in the United States, but uh, of course they're domesticated. Very stupid animals, actually. Um, I knew a guy who was a turkey farmer, and he told me that the turkeys you had to be careful. You had to be around the turkey farm all the time because if it rained you'd have to move the turkeys inside because they're so stupid they would look up into the sky to look at see what was happening and they could actually drown <laughs> if it was raining hard because they're too dumb to bend their head down anyway that's what he told me I don't know if it's true whatever uh, okay Carlos pull what do you pull I'm not sure, but for default, crackers. But crackers for me is food. Right, for me too. By default, but, by default, you would have to choose crackers. Okay, that's the phrase, Carlos. By mm, default, okay. there's nothing else left. So by default, crackers. Right, crackers are small, like crispy bread, flat bread pieces, right? For, for you, for me too. Okay, but very um, here, uh, very British. Okay, Americans don't do this, but Brits do this, and actually, actually, Filipinos do this as well. Where I live now, crackers. What they're referring to is a type of firework. Okay, uh, it's a long kind of tube with wrapped ending, and you pull both ends. Okay, you pull it apart, and when it pulls it apart, it snaps, and sometimes like little colored pieces of paper fly out, or okay. strings of paper, and it makes a you know like a firecracker sound, pop, and little glitter and um, confetti, small pieces of colored paper, mm, confetti, okay. comes flying out, makes a big mess. Okay, and okay. anyway, those are called crackers. Uh, okay. By the way, we say, um, we can say Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas. Most people say Merry Christmas. And we say Happy New Year, but uh, English speakers never say Merry New Year. Okay, just so you know. Sounds weird. Happy Holidays is the more politically correct thing to say nowadays in Europe, in the United States, because, of course, other people have different holidays, uh, of course. Um, so, anyway, in order to not offend. Okay, let's move on. Let's get away from Christmas. Let's talk about other celebrations or commemorations. When we, when we remember something tragic or horrible, we commemorate it. We don't celebrate it, of course. Um obviously. Uh, okay, well, we could say 2015 here. Uh, all right, we're going to look at how these vocabulary words would be used in the sentences. Heidi, number one. Mm -hmm. The year 2005 is the 60th anniversary of the, um, of the Second World War. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> uh, 
landing. Uh, no. Uh, end, end, end. Oh, fine. <laughs> And yes, the end. Uh, of course, it's, and, the material's a bit, bit dated because now it's 2015. There's been a lot in the news about the 70th anniversary uh, this year. Lots of different events and commem again commemorations. Not eh, well. I guess you can celebrate the end of a war, but uh, okay. For example, next one here, Felipe. Yes, uh, on August 19th, every year, Elvis Presley fans commemorate the anniversary of his um, birth. <laughs> okay, again, commemorate, you commemorate something bad. You celebrate mm. something good. You celebrate a birth. You commemorate a death. Okay. All right. So, uh, do you know who Elvis Presley was? Yes. Yeah. Who was he? He was the he king. Was a, <laughs> he was a very good dancer and <laughs> singer. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, think, that's funny. Okay. A very good dip. Well, yeah, no, you're not wrong, but it's funny. All right, yes, he uh, also called the king, Elvis, Elvis the pelvis. Okay, yes, all right, he was a very, he was like the first big rock star, really, uh, in America. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Okay, moving on. Oops. Uh, next one here, a uh, JR. Okay. Uh, 2009 marks the 12th anniversary of the beginning of the. The 20th anniversary, actually, if that helps. Yes. Uh, of the what of communism? Uh, birth, maybe. Well, no, not the birth. The birth would be the okay. beginning. The end. The, well, okay. Let the, me see here. The collapse. There you go. The collapse of communism. You, you commonly hear about that. Literally, the collapse of the Berlin Wall, the collapse of communism. Okay. A common phrase. Yeah, if you, 20 years back from 2009 would be 89. Right. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, okay. Moving on. Uh, Leonardo. Okay. Uh, the new millennium was the anniversary of the birth of Christ? I would have to say that could be the only possible answer. <laughs> yes, it must be. I'm sure it's not the landing or the discovery of Christ. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Very, very good. All right. I not sure about the new millennium myself. I don't really get that. Uh, okay, Mustafa, number five. <clears throat> five. The year 2008 is the 14th anniversary of a man on the moon. A man. <laughs> on the moon. Black on the moon, yeah. Uh, just a uh, scroll up, please. Yeah. I have. Um, Landing. Yes, of course, man. Landing on the moon. Okay. Right. Okay. And really, it should obviously be was because it's in the past. Coming up very soon this weekend. Uh, okay. Uh, Carlos. Okay. July 4th is the day. Is the day the United States celebrate in independence? Independence, yes, or independence, it's called yeah. 
Independence Day. Absolutely. Coming up very soon. Uh, Carlos, do people have any kind of Independence Day or National Day of celebration in your country? Yes, of course. It's, it's near also. It's next uh, 20 July. 20th. And it's, July. And it's holiday also. also. Uh -huh. Like okay. uh, for July. And do people, how do people celebrate it? <laughs> to tell you the truth, doing anything. The, the people yeah. don't work. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very, here where I now live, I'm an American, but I now live in the Philippines. And yeah, we just had the Philippine Independence Day, June 12th. And oh. it, people don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> More or less a bank holiday, and you would never know it's different than any other day. In the uh, United States, the 4th of July, you would know it's the 4th of July. There are parades. There are a lot of athletic contests like uh, bicycle races in the streets and marathons and different athletic competitions. Um, definitely parades. Barbecues. Lots of people like to barbecue. And then, of course, in the evening, there are concerts and uh, very large bar firework displays. Lots of fireworks. Fourth of July is the big fireworks holiday in the United States. The, the American people are very patriotic of that at times. Well, they like to party. <laughs> 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 they like a big summertime party, and they like to barbecue. I don't know how patriotic they are, but everybody likes barbecue and fire. Peter, and, yeah. and, uh, and is that because uh, when, I'm, I'm not sure about that, correct me if I'm wrong, when uh, Spain, I think, take over USA or what? When, 4th of July? What's the reason? Yeah, what, what's the reason? What's the, the reason behind that? Uh, it's when the um, Declaration of Independence was signed and they declared that they were independent from England, officially. Oh, oh, okay, okay. In reality, the Revolutionary War, as it's called, continued for many years. So they, didn't, they, they claimed their independence, but they were at war for uh, quite a few more years before they could actually form a government. And re the Constitution didn't come along till later, actually, and the organization of the government, Washington becoming president. That didn't happen till later, because this is the part where they declared independence. They said, we're no longer part of England, and then they had to fight for a few years. Uh, yeah, so actually, it's a good question. A lot of people get confused there. Uh, Heidi, uh, number seven. Uh, let me. Uh, sorry, Heidi. Let me quickly welcome David. Hi, David. Hi. How are you? Uh, fine. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, uh, Heidi. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. Number seven, please. I can see seven. I can see until six. Okay. Two thousand three is the fortieth anniversary of the. John, uh, assassination of the uh, of John F. Kennedy. That's right. The word here is the assassination. So, okay, another anniversary. So, anniversaries. We we have anniversary is neutral. It can be good or bad things. Um, but uh, if we have some kind of, if we hold some kind of ceremony, then we we celebrate the good things. We celebrate Fourth of July, but we commemorate. Um, for example, an assassination, bad things. Uh, okay. Now, now his uh, daughter is an uh, ambassador in Japan. Oh, yeah. Well, what's her name? Uh, Caroline. Caroline. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Was it? Wait a minute. Was Carolyn Kennedy married to Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh, no. Oh. No, I'm thinking of it. <laughs> different one. Okay, I get confused with the whole Kennedy family. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Shriver. He was married to Pamela Shriver, who is also actually part of the Kennedy family. Okay, never mind. It's not important. Political gossip. Never mind. Felipe, uh, number eight. Mm. 
2029 marks the centenary of the um, discovery. Very good. It, it was always there. The discovery of penicillin. Penicillin. Okay, you can say 2029 or you can say 2029. Uh, mm -hmm. Either way. Um, what is a. Uh, just, yes? Just, just a ahead. question uh, about uh, the days of the, the month. Uh, we are. The, the TH. Well, what are the pronounces we have for this? Hmm. Okay. Well, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. The thirteenth of June, for example. Friday the thirteenth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then so on. Twentieth, twenty first, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, and so on. Thirtieth. Mm -hmm. Like that. Thanks. Okay? Sure. And what is a centenary? Do you know? No, no idea. It's for the class or? No, you know, for you. Centenary. Yeah. Yeah, is it? Do you know what that means? It's, uh, it's marks. Uh, it means that it's the 100, 100 um, years. Exactly. That That's right. So the noun is century. Or centenary is also a noun, or centennial is the adjective. That's right. Um, in 1976, the United States had the bicentennial, 200 years. Uh, let's talk mm -hmm. carnival here. Uh, we've got just a couple minutes. Let's see if we can zip through this here. Okay. Uh, all right. JR is, JR is gone. Uh, okay, Leonardo. Um, okay. Filling in the blanks. Go ahead and read. Oh. Um, Here. The biggest carnival in the world is carnival in Brazil, when the whole country stops for four days while everybody parks. There are lots of streets. Um... It's amazing the current cloud floats. Uh, there are a lot of streets. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, the key uh, is with floats going down the street. Floats. Yeah. Uh, Probably. There are lots of parades. That's when people okay. march down the street. Okay. Okay. Parades. I don't know parades. 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 Second parades. syllable. Stress. Parade. Okay. You have a marching band. People walk down the street. Everybody's lined up on the sidewalk. You have dancers. You have floats. Okay. Big decorated giant moving things that go down the street. And the... Okay, you have uh, different kind of displays going down the street, and people, I don't know, wave flags. Depends. Sometimes you could have a military parade with soldiers marching down the street and tanks and rocket launchers all <laughs> going down the street. Also a parade. Okay. Okay, that's that's a parade. Can I have a protest parade? Uh, no, uh, that's a good question. No, you have a protest march. Mm. Very good question. If you're having a protest, that's not a parade. That's a march. Parades are organized to celebrate or something like that. They're not... Yeah. Yes, we use a different word, so that's a very good question. Um, right. No, that's a march. Okay, and people dressed in colorful what? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, gay parade, you could do that. Sure. Uh, Leonardo? Uh, go, people are uh, dressed in colorful what? Costumes. Costumes, yeah, very good. Uh, okay, uh, very good. Um, Mustafa, everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, there are samba dancing, <laughs> playing, samba Some, playing. Samba bands, bands play, dancers don't play. Dance play, dance playing, yeah. Yeah, samba, samba bands, bands playing, and... And people, ah, uh, right through the night. Uh, people dancing, bands playing, people dancing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Kind of logic lot goes together there, yeah. and uh, okay, Carlos, last last one here. I'm already late. Right, right through the night, the paradise, para 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 this. No, um, not. the festi parade. parade. Festivities parade. is probably the, fe the festivities continue. Right. Okay, with more dancing and music and fireworks displays which light up the sky. Notice firework displays, okay, when we use it as a an adjective, notice there's no S, firework displays. When we talk about it as a noun, we, we call them fireworks. I'm going to buy some fireworks, for example. Okay, that's all the time. In fact, we're over time, so thank you very much. Everyone go out and celebrate. Woohoo! Thank you. And, uh, Bye. Bye. See you guys.